Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and start this video off with Lil Durk, NBA Youngboy, and Soulja Boy. Now as if it wasn't bad enough that Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy were going back and forth on social media recently, mainly because these two had projects dropping around the same time, we all know that Soulja Boy decided to get in the mix. I let you guys know about this in my previous video. He went on Instagram Live and Soulja Boy was completely livid at Lil Durk mostly because he felt like Lil Durk was completely copying him. Well, it looks like that that rant may have worked because recently Lil Durk decided to make a different decision. He actually decided to announce that he is going to push back the release date of his album Almost Healed. And he just decided to drop a solo project and it was a song called All My Life featuring J. Cole along with a video. Now I know Soulja Boy he's feeling real good right now and I know this for a fact. He posted it on Twitter and he said shout out to Dirk for pushing his album back. That's a real dude. And he also posted and he said i just don't play about me anymore keep it real or keep your distance like i said soldier boy is definitely feeling good right now now do i think that soldier boy is the reason why Lil dirt decided to push back his album it could be but i think it was multiple reasons i think maybe they were all releasing around the same time and Lil dirt he's like look i want to give them time and then i'm gonna push my album back i know i'm still going to get listens i know i'm still going to get views so I will let them have it. I feel like that was the energy that Lil Durk was given. Or maybe business-wise, his manager or his team told him that it would be a good idea for him to just push his album back, and that's what he did. But of course, there's still a lot of people who are looking forward to Lil Durk's album, Almost Till. He did drop the album cover, and I will say it's a little shocking. It's not really up to my taste, but I guess a lot of people would say that it is creative. Don't really like the whole, you know, B-L-O-O-D dripping but it is what it is y'all let me know what y'all thinking in the comment section why do you think that Lil Durk decided to push back his album I didn't see him admit it but if you guys did see it y'all can leave it in the comment section let's go ahead and move on to our girl Summer Walker now I had talked about this in a previous video as well Summer Walker's recent performances people were saying that they were kind of lacking energy this was going viral on not only Twitter but it was also going viral on TikTok as well people just felt like Summer Walker wasn't given the energy that she was supposed to be giving if you guys know what I mean this became so repetitive that I guess people were even telling Summer Walker this in person when she would dance or have energy or be on instagram live people will comment and say girl you need to give that same energy during your performances well summer walker actually decided to post onto her insta story making a video and addressing that particular statement she said and i quote it doesn't add up to me when people say put that same energy in your song sis then she decides to give an example of her putting that energy into her performance. She decides to give an example of her giving that same energy while she's singing her songs and she's just like dancing wildly. She stops the music and she's letting people know that it just doesn't make sense. She also feels like it's maybe like a colorist thing because she says that Janae Ayako and Sade did not get the same energy when they were just standing on stage doing their performances. Now what I think that people mean when they say that Summer Walker needs to give more energy i think what they actually are saying is that maybe she needs to be a little more passionate while she is singing i did recognize that one clip that completely went viral of summer walker on stage performing was her performance when she was crying and a lot of people related to her a lot of people felt sorry for her and a lot of people were putting in the comments that they love her they love coming to her performances because they can actually see the passion in her performance from her crying now of course do we expect summer walker to cry during every single performance no I don't think people should expect that but of course people when they come to a show they want to see a show so they just want to see you at least given a little more passion I think the difference is sometimes Janae Aiko will stand on stage and she will close her eyes and she will really be singing her song and sometimes Janae Aiko will dance around the stage Sade the same way but I think that people just feel like Summer Walker just stands there and she kind of has this blank stare on her face while she is singing her song and I think it's more of like I said her facial expression people just want to see a little more passion while she is singing that's what I think people mean now I can understand like she said what she's saying when people say that 
they want her to give more energy when her songs are like slow and they shouldn't require energy i don't think that energy should really be the word i think it should just be it should be a little more passion y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below let's go ahead and move on to black china and tokyo tony recently krishan rock recorded a video and posted a video of tokyo tony in black china hugging it out also tokyo tony decides to show her daughter black china that she got a tattoo of her name on her chest of course it said angela i thought this was super sweet and i was super happy to see tokyo tony and black china like actually working things out and getting along and being there for each other because i honestly feel like that's what mother and daughter bonds and relationships should be like i really really love the fact that like i said in my previous video black china did not hold anything against her mom anything that tokyo tony was saying online against her and going against her with she did not hold it against her like she still of course loves her mom she wants to be there for her mom and she absolutely wants a relationship with her mom so i'm super 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 happy that these two were able to work things out but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below let's go ahead and move into our very very last topic brooklyn nicole now i noticed that brooklyn nicole of course she's on her music journey she recently released a song to her tiktok where she was like rapping and i guess some of her lyrics some of the people in her comment section especially on tiktok did not agree with because they're like girl i thought you were on a spiritual journey i thought you were like on this godly journey what happened to that now when i say that i've seen so many comments like this i literally seen so many comments like this and i was so so disappointed in so many people now yes we know that brooklyn she was on a spiritual journey and she may still be on that spiritual journey but just because people see her rapping to a song that maybe they don't agree with the lyrics of or they don't feel like it's very godly like they feel like oh she's no longer on that journey and they want to point it out to her and i feel like that's something that people like to do and they like to judge when in reality we should not be judging in all honesty we all should be working on our personal relationships with jesus and not really focus so much on pointing out what another person is doing wrong or what they should be doing or what they shouldn't be doing within their relationship with god with their relationship with jesus everybody should be focusing on their own personal relationship and i'm pretty sure 90 percent of those people who are in the comments are not living in a hundred percent godly so like i said who are we to judge she still could be on her spiritual journey nobody really knows what she has going on behind the scenes so i don't understand why so many people were judging her but like i said let's not judge let's just work on our own relationships and not really focus on everyone else's but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section like a, once again once again, my lovely TTs, thank you so uh, once again, my lovely TTs, thank you so much for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. And I will see you guys in my next video.